Hey boys, it's harm done. Today we're gonna to be customizing the Dubachi Masakro in Grand Theft Auto Online. The Masakro has been re-added into the game this week, as I'm sure you guys are aware, so we're gonna be customizing it today. To start things off, we are going to be upgrading the armor all the way up on this car for 50 grand. For the brakes, we're gonna go all the way up on those as well. Now for the bumpers, we do have a few different bumper options. We can have a carbon splitter, a regular splitter, or of course a carbon race splitter. Now I do have to say I like the carbon race splitter, um, like the splitter itself, I like how it is shaped far better than this one. However, I think for the sake of today's customization, we might have to go for the uh, regular carbon splitter here. So let's go ahead and throw that on the car. For the rear diffuser, we can add a much larger rear diffuser on it or a little extender onto the back here. Um, I think, see the front splitter is pretty aggressive, so I'm tempted to match it up with the, uh, the more aggressive rear diffuser. I think that I will end up doing that, I th eh, for right now at least, we might change that. Now we do have a roll cage or a racing roll cage, which also adds a roof scoop, as well as, uh, as two fuel fill-ups uh, through the windows here, which is kind of odd. Um, we're not going to go for the roll cage today, I don't think. For the EMS, we're going to go all the way up, of course. For the exhaust, we are probably going to go titanium tips, yes, yes we are. For the fenders, we do have some race wing vents that we can add onto this, which is pretty cool looking. We also have some hood options here as well. Now, this hood option is definitely more so for racing. Uh, the carbon hood doesn't look super great on here. Of course, we do have the carbon race vented hood as well. I don't think I'm going to do anything to the hood on this vehicle. I think it looks really good in this uh, configuration so we're just going to keep that how it is we are going to go for some xenon lights though and we are actually going to add just a white neon kit onto the bottom of this thing to lower the center of gravity so it just has a little bit better handling now for the plate we are going to go hmm let's see actually i'm not sure what color plate we're going to do yet because i'm not sure what color the car is going to be yet. Now I do have my crew color, which I'm not going to do on this. I feel like this car, because it is an Aston Martin Vanquish, uh, which it's based off of, I feel like it's going to look good in some brighter colors, like Torino Red, for example. I could also see it looking really good in an orange of some sort. I could also see it looking really good in a brighter sort of blue potentially as well. Now I already do have a Masakro in an ultra blue, which is a very good looking color on this vehicle. I am thinking that I kind of want to do one in a race yellow. So I think I'm going to upgrade this thing and put it in race yellow. And then maybe for the pearlescent, we can go for something a little bit different. Maybe we can go for something kind of unique. Um, we'll have to see. Let's see what we can do. Uh, what are what is like a frost white pearlescent looking like on this? It's not too bad, but it almost, I feel like it almost mutes the color a little bit. What if we went for, hmm, I don't know, the yellow pearlescent actually looks really good. Maybe we should go for a race yellow pearl on the race yellow though. Let's do that, let's do that, let's throw that on. It doesn't look that much different, but it's a little bit different. And then for the skirts on this vehicle, we can upgrade these and we can change them up quite a bit. Uh, we do have the race carbon side skirt. We also have the race side skirt, the regular carbon side skirt, the side skirt itself, and then back to stock. I think that I do want to add one on here. I'm just not really sure which side skirt I actually want to go for. I think it's going to have to be the carbon side skirt. I feel like that's the only one that kind of matches up with how I want this to look. So let's go for the carbon side skirt, I think. For the spoiler, we do have a few different options here. I have to say I do like all of the options. I just don't like them on this particular build that we've gone for here, which is almost making me want to change up the build a little bit. Um, oh man, that's it's, it's tempting me to change things up here. You know, I typically never go for any sort of spoiler on a car like this but the carbon low level spoiler actually looks really good so i'm gonna throw it on today wasn't expecting to do that honestly we're also gonna upgrade the transmission all the way we're gonna put a turbo on this car as well now for the wheels these wheels that it comes with do look really really good and i think those are chrome if i'm not mistaken um, so chrome wheels do look pretty good on this thing, I have to say. What if we upgrade the wheels to something in the high-end category? Like we could do Cheetah RRs, those do look really good, I have to say. 
Um, I really don't know what to do for the rims here, actually. What if we go into the track category? The track category should be kind of interesting. Ooh, super luxes or high fives actually look super sick on this car. I'm not going to lie. That is a really cool, uh, really cool option. What about in the street category? There's a lot of trash up at the top there, but what if we scroll a little further down here? We do have the Mercy Concaves that look really good. The Segoys look pretty good as well. Endo V4 Dished, that's interesting. The Hyperfresh too. We have the Concave Racer. We have the Deep Flake Reverse. Hmm, Concave Mega Mesh as well. Oh man. You know, I think that I'm gonna have to go for the Super Lux or the High Five on this. And I think the Superlux fit a little bit better, so I'm going to go for that option today. For the color of the wheels, I think probably just a black, honestly. I, I'm not really going to mess around with it too much. We will go bulletproof on the tires, though, for sure. We will tint the windows out a little bit. Not all the way, maybe. Let's do a dark smoke today. This thing is looking really good, but I'm almost tempted to, uh, to see what uh, the carbon race splitter is looking like on this thing. I feel like it would look sick with a carbon hood too, but I'm not going to do it. I, I think I am actually just going to keep it like it is. I am pretty happy with how this has turned out. Uh, let's go ahead and take the Masako down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test as well as a full review on the car. All right, guys, here we are outside. Let's take a listen quickly. It definitely doesn't sound bad. It definitely isn't very unique either, but it sounds good. It's like it's like a nice sound to listen to while you drive the car. The Masako is one of my favorite vehicles in the entire game. So I'm going to say right off the bat, I am probably a little personally biased towards this car, but I will point out the issues that it does have. I can think of one in my head right now. Um, I would love to say that this is a flawless car, but it isn't all the way around flawless however it is extremely good for the money and if you can get this thing while it's on sale this week for 165 grand you are laughing because it is a phenomenal car for that price point it is within the sports category it is not that fast it's not that competitive you're probably not going to win any races with it However, it is more so suited as a free mode vehicle nowadays, I would say. There was a time when the Masako was actually a very competitive race car in this game, but times have definitely changed. Now, the Masako is one real issue that I can think of off the top of my head. It's the one and only issue that I do have with the Masako, and that is this thing does suffer from some pretty horrific understeer sometimes. The Masako it locks out the steering pretty hard and uh, it, it just will not turn anymore at a certain point. And it's it's definitely an issue that this car has that is, I would say, worse on the Masakura than most cars that I've experienced understeer on in GTA. The Masakura really, really has a problem with understeer. I don't exactly know why this is. It's truly such a shame because the Masakura is actually a great vehicle. But the understeer issue that it has is is pretty yeah it's pretty significant. It it will not turn anymore after a certain point. Uh, but please don't be discouraged because the majority of the time, as long as you're taking you know relatively shallow corners, this will not really be an issue. And if you're driving around sharper corners at just a little bit of a lower speed, it's also not going to really be that much of an issue. It is definitely a problem that the Masako has though, the understeer, just most of the time you can kind of ignore it, sort of-ish. Beyond that though, the Masako is very good acceleration-wise. The top speed is okay, it's it's nothing special by, by any means, but um, it could be a lot worse. It definitely could be a lot worse. Overall, the Masako is a good vehicle. It is definitely worth its price point. Even if this thing is at full price, it is still worth picking up, but especially on sale for $165,000, you cannot go wrong with picking up a Masako this week, guys. So please make sure that you actually do this because you will regret not getting the Masako. It is, of course, a removed vehicle. You can't get it on the websites anymore, which is a tragedy. But make sure you take advantage while you can. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much all I have to say about the Masako. It is definitely a car that I would recommend picking up for sure whenever it is available. And make sure if you're watching this when it comes out to pick it up today or tomorrow because it is going away for a very long time. 
after that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the Dubachi Masako customization and review in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let me know what you thought of my build in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If not, dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.